to Main Street Mondays. I'm Sarah Grunwald, Executive Director of Main Street Washington, and I'm joined this morning by Brent Cromery, Managing Partner of Brown Shoe Fit Company here in Washington. Good morning, Brent. Good morning, Sarah. So, tell me a little bit about yourself and about the business here in Washington. Okay, um, I've been here since 2007, and uh, Brown Shoe Fit has been here a long time, since 1946, and I'm a managing partner, so I own part of the business, and um, yeah, so we're here to talk about Main Street today. <laughs> we are, and but let's talk about the business just a little bit. Okay. You guys sell shoes, obviously, yes. but what else do you have, or what else can you get? Well, anything foot, footwear related, we sell shoes, boots, um, orthotics, socks, um, all kinds of stuff like that, and we're kind of known for uh, selling safety footwear, so we um, have a, uh, use my truck and uh, we have a trailer that we go and we sell shoes on site to different factories and we also use our trailer to sell shoes at uh, nursing homes and we do special fittings um, you know at uh, physical therapy places sure. that, that kind of thing and so yeah we uh, we're definitely mobile in that okay. aspect and so if somebody wants their business to have special shoot footwear, they can contact you and you can bring the truck out to them directly or they can come into the store as well? Either, however they want to do it. Uh, we try to accommodate uh, whatever um, businesses want us to do and you know, every place that we go or have uh, contact with, is it, it's all different. They they have it set up uh, however they want to. However they want we, to. We do whatever they want us to awesome. do. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I can see out of the corner of my, you guys can't see it as a, a display of yak tracks for the icy weather we're going to have and right. we have had. So that's yes. great too, is you can modify your shoes so you don't fall on the ice. Yeah. Yep. So let's talk about Main Street. Brent is currently our board president, um, has been for a couple years now. And yep. um, why did you get involved or how did you get involved with Main Street? Well, I believe um, one day Mary Patterson stopped into my store and she asked me to be on the economic restructuring committee. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, sure, you know, it, you know, got involved um, that way, and it just kind of uh, snowballed. Snowballed from there, and so I'm trying to think of how long that's been. That might have been maybe six, seven years ago, maybe. Yeah. It's been a while. So. You were a volunteer when I started six years ago. Yeah. So. Yep. So, um, but yeah, uh, it was kind of a no-brainer um, being uh, a business owner here on the square. Um, you're always wanting to attract more people and Main Street definitely helps in that. Um, so uh, for me, uh, when I first started, uh, yeah, it, it was good for my business, but also um, it's kind of one of those things that you uh, volunteer and you do stuff and it just makes you feel good. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a re very rewarding, even though, you know, it's not like you get compensated or, or, you know, it's, uh, that, that kind of thing it's mm -hmm. just yeah so that's why yeah it's it's a feel-good thing to volunteer and give your time and mm -hmm. and see the see the changes over time um, main street's a very incremental process and so you know being part of downtown how have you seen those increments change as a business and as a volunteer well um obviously when i um first got here i can't remember exactly how long after i was here but you know the whole um sidewalk I can't think of the word that they used. Streetscape. The streetscape uh, project um, happened, and um, yeah, it was kind of tough uh, having to deal with all the construction going on for a while. And some businesses it, it affected more because um, it really was kind of like how they had everything where we were still open, even though they were doing a lot of work outside. Uh, but that definitely was a, a big uh, game changer, I think, um, for the look of the square and a lot of people from out of town come and are like, wow, you, this looks great, you know? Yeah, so. It really does. So Brent, as a volunteer, as a investor in Main Street, how would you encourage people to get involved? Well, I think the easiest thing would be just to contact you um, and uh, they can tell a little bit about what they like to do because there's uh, different communities to be involved in. So there's, you know, not everyone's gonna like want to do the the same uh, same thing so that's what I would suggest uh, go to uh, Sarah and contact her and go from there because uh, we're always looking for new volunteers and the more the merrier yep the more hands the lighter the work yes <laughs> so that is all we have for today for Main Street Mondays thanks for tuning in and we will see you next Monday with our next video